Hello and welcome to this short tutorial which is going to show you how to create appointments in Google Calendar. Okay, how to create and share appointments in Google Calendar so people can make appointments and book time with you. So I'm doing this as an educator for a parent-teacher meeting that's coming up. Um, and when you've finished your when you finish this tutorial, you will see you'll have a set of appointments set in your Google Calendar and then you'll also have a link which you can then share with your parents and they will then click on the appointment they want and then they'll make the booking okay so that's what we're going to achieve in this video okay uh, in a previous video I talked about how to use Google Forms and Google Calendar to do this however there is an add-on app you need to use for that um, called Booking Calendar and to be honest there is a lot of bugs in that and a lot of people had trouble and mistakes so I actually suggest this is the easier way to do it okay so using Google Calendar directly okay and sharing the link from Google Calendar so how do we do that okay let's get started so first of all you need to go to Google Calendar and the first thing you need to do is to create a new calendar okay so you go down to calendar over here okay if you getting to Google Calendar of course is in the Google Apps yeah so click on the Google Calendar come here Go down over here and you need to click on create a new calendar, okay? Create a new calendar. And give it a name. So I'm going to call this, um, yeah, PTA, parent teacher, PTA, parent teacher meetings. Okay, parent teacher meetings, June. Okay. So that's the calendar that I've created. So that's the first thing to do. After that, you go back to the days that you want to set your calendar. So I'm going to do my calendar. Let's get them done this week, shall we? OK, so I'm going to do them on Monday, for example. So you click in here. OK, and when you click in the time that you want, you need to change it from an event to an appointment slot. OK, you click on appointment slot and then you set the time. So this one's going to be 9 to 9.30. OK, and then you give it a time, give it a name. Ah, and then well, the important thing here is to choose the correct calendar. Okay, very important. All right. And then you click save. So that's the first one done. Okay. You can create the second one. It's a little bit time consuming. Create the second one. The second one in the same way. Appointment. Make sure you choose the correct one. PTM. Okay. Okay. You can also. Oh, I didn't give that a title. You can also. Um, duplicate them okay so I'll show you how to do that which is it makes it a little bit faster still not that fast but a little bit faster so how do we duplicate those so again you click on click on here and you have a choice up here duplicate and then when it duplicates you simply change the time okay so this one here is going to be 10 to 10 30 okay duplicate it again over here to the three buttons, click duplicate. So it's going to be 10 30 to 11 o'clock. Okay. And so on and so forth. And then you just fill in all the times that you are available for appointments. Okay. One thing that I don't like about this system, which makes it a little bit more difficult, is that it doesn't automatically create a Google Meet link for you. So my parent teacher meetings, they're all going to be um, online meetings. So I need to create Google Meet links for that so what I now need to do is edit this information and add a Google link to it okay so you need to go over to Google meet click on new meeting create a meeting for later okay copy that information okay go back to calendar and paste that information in there okay I'll just say um, here is the link. Okay. And you can just save that like that. Okay. Some teachers like to use all of their the same link for all the parent teacher meetings. I don't like to do that in case a parent decides to come back um, and then you know butt in on a another meeting. Obviously these meetings are uh, you know are not something that should be shared with other people. So I go I create a link for every meeting. So again you have to go back over here, new meet. 
create a meet for later, copy the link, go back to Google Classroom, paste the link, new link in here. Okay, it's a little bit time consuming, but it does work well once you've set it up and shared it. It does work well. So here is the link. Okay, right. Then after you've populated your calendar with all your appointment times, you then click over here. And then it will say, um, no, sorry. Go to appointment page for this calendar. Okay. So this is the, the appointment page, and that is what you'll share with your parents. Okay. Now, I'll be honest, the appointment page, I think, is a little bit ugly. I mean, it, this, is, this is what it looks like. Okay. And also, when the parents click on the link, or whoever is making the appointment, when they click on the link, they'll go to the appointments for that day that they're clicking on the link. So you'll need to tell them, okay, the appointments are only available on whichever week it is, okay? Aha, okay. So you can see here, I have uh, my four appointments, which I put in, 9 to 9.30, okay? And there they are. So and then they, the parent will then simply click on here, They'll click, uh, they'll confirm it, they'll save it, and then they'll have an appointment with me. Simple as that. Okay. And then I'll get an email confirming that they have made the appointment, and they'll also get an email. And in that email will be the Google Meet link as well. And yeah. And I've double checked as well. When you do this, after you've booked this, this time slot is then no longer available for other parents. So you, it's impossible to double book it. It's booked so it's only a single appointment at that time. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Like I said, I think it's the best way that Google has at the moment for making appointments. I think it still needs to be improved. I think they need to add links for Google Meet. And I also think this appointment page needs to be a little bit nicer. I mean, this is really, you know, a very old looking page. Um, but yeah, it's successful and it works. So like I said, click here. And then when you get this, you just, to share to the parents, you copy and paste this link here. Copy and paste this link. And it's a very long looking link but um you simply put that link in there send it to the parents but they'll click on that they'll go to the day of your meeting and then they'll be able to make their appointments okay well i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope you find it useful and um if you've got any questions please leave me a comment um down in the uh, description below and if you like the video please click like and remember to subscribe thank you very much